welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Y'all, I am starving. Happy Saturday to everybody. I just came in. I've been up since 5 o'clock doing laundry at the laundromat. Got back at about 7.15. Jumped in the shower. Did a little something to my face. Because me and my co-worker, me and my home girl, we moseyed on down to the Oak Brook Mall. And got a few things, y'all. Well, she got me a thing. I got me some food, but she was like, I'm going to get your gift when we go out Saturday. And it's supposed to have been Goddess by Do Burberry or Dolce & Gabbana's newest one. But when I smelled this one, because I wanted to see what was tea. Why all the girls into, you know, this, the original Valentino smell. And she got me the big one. Well, I wanted the big one, and it was $155. So she was going to spend $100 on my gift because she don't do Christmas. But she was like, when we go out, I will do, and if y'all hear noise, they putting a new boiler in in the basement. I don't know why they up there moving around, but don't mind. It's going to be a lot of eating, y'all. So we getting this talking out the way now. And before I do any more talking, let's pray over this food. Pineapple lemonade, y'all. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for blessing me with this food to be able to afford this food, Lord God. We all know how expensive food is, so I just thank you on this day, Lord God, for providing for me, Lord God. May this food be nourishing to my body, Lord God, and go feed the hungry and the homeless. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And thank God. So pineapple lemonade, y'all. Get me some ice. I'm going to pull the water off this ice so I can pull me a little of this on there, even though it's cold. But yeah, so my homegirl bought me a little perfume. She gave me $100, so I just paid the rest. It was $167. I think I got the, um, and then we got a few samples. Cartier smells good, to Pasha. Cartier, they gave me a Pasha um, Cartier sample and Clinique Happy. That's an oldie. That Clinique, look, this supposed to be food, right? But I'm just showing y'all because this is what my day was before we got the food. This is what we was doing, y'all. So I got this from Macy's. Is it upside down? Yeah, it's upside down. From Macy's, and it was a hundred and sixty-seven seventy. So yeah, y'all. So if y'all want that, y'all better go ahead and get that. Even though I think we should have waited till Black Friday because I probably could have got that for like $120 or something. Probably, probably going to be a good sale this Friday, this coming Friday. But oh well. So let's get into this food, y'all. As y'all can see from the thumbnail, we got us some Nando's. If y'all don't know about Nando's, it is a peri-peri chicken place here in Chicago. I don't know if they got other ones, but we got a few around the city. This came from the one in Oak Brook, out at Oak Brook Mall. So I got a corn. I bought my daughter some of the extra hot because they got different levels of heat and sauces. So I got her some extra hot wings. I'm thinking it was going to be whole wings because they gave me these for $8 and some cent. And it's only six of them. Now she got five because I took one. Then I got a half chicken. The um, leg part is in the in the box still. I just want the breast and the wing right now. As you can see, it's covered in the sauce. I got regular hot. This is extra hot. I already kind of tasted that one, and it is really hot. Then I got some mash back here hiding now. Then there's some sauce that go with this wing. Ooh, the wing's hot. Hold on, y'all. Let me drizzle some of this on my wing so I can put her sauce back. I believe this sauce is going to kind of cool it down, so I'm going to get me a little... Okay, and that's what that looks like. What did I just... Oh, okay. I was going to say, what did I do with this top? Somebody calling me. I'm, I could have sworn I put my phone on DND, but I guess I still can see who calling. So, we're going to swipe that out the way. And we're going to get into this food, y'all. We already said our grace, our prayers. Let's dig in. I think I bought me some butter over here. And some salt. BRB. Let me pour this water off my ice. Okay, y'all. I'm back. Let me pour up some of this pineapple lemonade. 
they give it to you out of the, you know how they have like slushies and stuff, the machines they be having them in. Let me fix the camera. Well, this was in the machine and then we wanted the large and she came back with one of these. I was like, hmm, I wonder how much I paid for it. My um, receipt is on the bag. So when I'm done, I'm gonna look at that receipt and see, cause I paid $39 and something for this whole meal. I got a half a chicken, a corn on the cob, two um, regular sides of mashed potatoes and the six wings, um, extra hot wings. And it was 39 and some change. So I don't think that was that bad. Yeah, I got my pineapple lemonade. It smells so good. She let us taste it and boy was it smelling. I mean, tasting amazing. I'm gonna put some of this, what we call butter on my corn. Just so I can put a little salt on there too. Don't mind me, y'all. This video is probably about 10 minutes in and I ain't ate none. I kind of feel like Darius B. Love's life, son. Yeah, but we're going to get into some things when I'm done eating, y'all, because I, as y'all can see, I haven't been posting in a few days. I was going every other day with the videos or trying. I had started it. First, it was twice a week. Then I was like, mm, let me do every other day. And then I had to take a step back, y'all. So we gonna get into why I took a step back as soon as we get into this Nando's Peri Peri Chicken. All right, let's eat. Oh, no, not let's eat. Let me get my salt. Let me get my little salt. I don't even think this corn need no salt because I've had it a many a time and I just used to eat it. Bad self. Maybe I was just hungry then. So I was just trying to eat it. We gonna go with this hot. Should I eat this hot chicken first, y'all? I taste the sauce on it just by licking my fingers. And it was hot. <coughs> oh, wow. Oh, it's hot. Don't get the extra hot. Just get the regular hot like I be getting. Because this will choke you. But it tastes, it tastes good, though. It's that hot that, even though it's making your eyes water, like, man, it's that hot that make you want to keep on eating. I mean, I woke up and told her that I brought her something to eat. Cause this so so good, I would have uh, saved. I would have saved this for myself. <laughs> just greedy. After I just told y'all, I got another half. The leg part with the thigh. This the breast and the wing. Hot and hot. How are y'all gristle? Mm, mm, mm. Mm. A little mash, little mash. Y'all want some? Little mash. Mmm. And they mashed potatoes never need nothing. You don't need to put no salt, no butter, no nothing. They grill these chickens. You can see them while you're waiting on your food. They grill them in front of you. They got a grill behind the counter. Oh, I need to go give me a, a two sting. Mm. Now this, this is hot, but it, it ain't that hot. I mean, it's hot, but not that hot. I mean, if you don't like hot stuff, <clears throat> then this will choke you too. You wouldn't like this. 
But if you like a little heat, get the regular hot. And ask them for an extra sauce, y'all, because low key, I want to take her sauce out of there and finish eating it. That sauce was a bomb. The girls with the big backs get it. We eat this pot. Ugh. And all you taste is grill. I love a little, a little grill taste. Mm -mm -mm. All this gristle in my mouth. This was supposed to be a no talking video. Major fail. Epic film, shall I say. Y'all, it's that time of the year. I'm trying to get cold so on my lip. I woke up at four in the morning. So if y'all see me trying to chew funny, I'm trying not to touch my lip. Cause I got it waxed on it. If you catch a um, cold sore when it's just painful to touch and not at the phase where it's trying to come out, you can make it go away. It was trying to come here last week. I made it. It didn't even show up when I got through rubbing it wax on it. wax on it. I've been getting it since I was a little kid. So don't be saying, ugh, because it works. If you catch it in time, I might get swole. My lip might be swole in the morning, but far as that scab and that big old lump and all that ugliness, I'm going to show y'all, especially if you got the earwax. Well, I got long baby nails, so I'm always like every day. So I don't be hardly having no earwax. So if you wet your towel when you washing and just get make sure you get some water down in there. Then later on, or maybe an hour later or 30 minutes later, dig in there while it's still moist. Or even after you lay down so it can kind of run to the front. Get that out of there because that gooey, that gooey kind of. Why am I talking about that and I'm eating? But don't go spend twenty something dollars on that abreva. It don't work. I've been doing earwax since my grandmother told me when I was a kid. And if I catch it in time, it won't even come on my lip. It'll go away. Now it might try to come out in another spot. The next spot it might try to come out is up here in my eyelids. I asked my doctor, like, why is that? She said, you, if you got infection in your body, it's got to come out somewhere. So, I guess that's where it come out. Okay, well, my mom, H-E-R-P-E-S test always negative, And they try to say that's a form of H-E-R-P-E-S. She said only because they come out the same. You know, herbies show up and go away. And cold sores do the same. Sometimes it show up. Mine's been gone for a minute since COVID. I ain't this is my first one since COVID been here. I usually get them around this time of the year. Between November and February. If I get one. Cause I don't get sick like the average person. You won't see me coughing. You won't see me sniffling, blowing my nose, nose stopped up. I don't get a regular cold. I just get a cold sore. This is so good. I think this is better than the food. And the food is top tier. Because it tastes like it's home cooked. You went to the kickback. They was out there barbecuing. Uncle, he know how to do it up, so he done got this special sauce. Be putting it on now. He done got the corn that the young folks don't like, cause they ain't used to having the, the real corn. And he done buttered it up and seasoned it up. 
And not everybody eating and happy and dancing and doing electric slide. <laughs> yeah, I'm just rambling because I think I'm still sleepy. I've been woke since 4 o'clock. I got in the bed around 8. So, yeah, I'm still kind of sleepy. But I was anxious to get to the um, laundry mat and to the mall. With my coworker. I don't even think it's one o'clock yet. And I've been woke since four. Mm -hmm. I like skin. Who likes skin? Leave the comments down below if you like skin. Mm. That corn so sweet. It's so sweet and so good. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh oh, now my nose is trying to run, y'all. Now my love is trying to run. <sighs> so what y'all doing for Thanksgiving? Uh, comment down below and let me know what y'all favorite dish is for Thanksgiving and what y'all cooking if y'all cooking for Thanksgiving. Because mm. I'm cooking. I got some chicken legs. I got about 20 chicken legs. So I'm going to barbecue them. I'm going to jerk them and then make a little sweet little barbecue sauce and put it on them. Because I had did some ribs like that for one Thanksgiving. Jerked it and put the barbecue sauce on that. It was so good. I got that. I got some chicken and dressing that I'm going to be making. Cornbread dressing. I got some um, baked mac and cheese. And I got to go get some cabbage. And I'm making two sweet potato pies. I used to do four, but I noticed I started eating all that stuff by myself. We ain't good, no, we ain't making the back bigger than it is, so we won't be doing four. We'll do two. We will do two instead of four, cause food is high. And I still need to go get oxtails, cause oh yeah, I'm cooking oxtails. I'm still gotta go get oxtails. I still gotta go get me at least two big heads of cabbage, and I still need my sweet potatoes. So yep, yeah, run me the money. Yeah, but what I wanted to talk about is, okay, so I had to take a step back. So I ain't posted in a couple of days, and I I was supposed to do a Dollar Tree um food haul. Y'all going to see that after this probably. Um, But I just said, you know what, I ain't even feeling it because y'all know per my last, the video and then the one before that when this whole peach McIntyre and B loves life. This whole peak Ma peach McIntyre and B loves life drama. Like I'm like, I've been watching B every time she put a video out here. Shouts out to her. I love her to death. Um, but I've been watching her every time she put a video out. I don't miss not near video. Even if I don't watch the full video, I get the gist of the video. I watch most of the eating part of the video. But what I have noticed is when she mentioned Peach, even though the the videos after that, she have been kind of, you know, making statements, but not like you really can't tell if it was regarding peach and all of the drama but it's like um now like i don't know how to put it so it just made me think like girl did i do too much did i do too much jumping in the drama because i've Mess with P, uh, mess with B, love life the long way. 
And I don't know no peach. I just be seeing her on the For You page on TikTok. And I just see she about a lot of drama. So, therefore, that's why I'm like, oh, no. Nah, she ain't finna be talking about Miss B. But it's like, girl, next time, just eat your food and be your own looker. Because if B Love's life can, um, you know, take the high road and not mention you now another time, like she shouldn't. Because, baby, she the clout. <laughs> you need her name for the clout, baby. So, it's like, dang. It just makes me, now, for now on, it just makes me like, okay. Every fight, you ain't got to jump in. If you know what I mean. Because you'll jump in and you'll be the one to get hurt. Dang. So therefore, yeah, I had to pause and take me a break, but I'm back, y'all. So it's I'm finna try to do every other day. So today is Saturday. So Monday, y'all should be getting the um the Dollar Tree meals, the Dollar Tree foods that I got. I'ma cook them up and we're gonna try them. Cooking with Jai. She uh Ja. I think J A I. I think she pronounced it Ja. But, um, yeah, we gonna get into some of these things that she likes to eat from the Dollar Tree. And we gonna see, is it really the real deal? Or is she just talking just for a video? Just for content. Because, you know, some of them, some of these people do stuff just for content. And they really ain't living like that. So, we gonna see. But that's enough of me rambling, y'all. As y'all can see, I really didn't eat much. But I ate a lot, y'all. I ain't no eater because, you know what? Let me tell you something about me before I go. I'm the type and always have been. I'm going to eat all day long different meals. If I'm if I'm outside all day, I'm stopping at different restaurants, uh, drive throughs all day. And then when I come in the house, I'm going to eat again. And I may have even woke up and um, made breakfast. But I don't never finish. That's how you can stay looking like me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But y'all on net note, I'm out of 5,000 G. Bye. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-uh. Not no bye. Please go hit that like button. Leave me some comments. Let me know what y'all cooking for Thanksgiving. Let me know if y'all feel me. If you feel me, what I hear, the little message that I hear, like, man, your own fan, your own. <laughs> you get what I'm talking about. And don't forget to subscribe. Go subscribe to this video right now before you go on to the next, or uh, before you go out shopping, or before you get up cooking. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, y'all. I think I got a little um play button in the corner. Hit on there, y'all, and subscribe to my channel. I love you long time. All right. Bye.